what's up everybody. Today we're going to talk about the 2022 Audi Q7. We're going to talk about how well this car is going to handle the rough terrain that we are going to face. We are going to check out the speed, acceleration, and check out some of the things that this amazing vehicle is going to be able to do. What does the Q7 stand for? Three-row luxury SUVs like the Audi Q7 have become standard. You can do whatever you want with it. It's the best SUV in its class, and we've voted it so many times. With a plethora of new features, the 2022 Audi Q7 is expected to maintain its place as one of the best luxury SUVs on the market. Rear-side impact airbags, which were formerly an option on some Q7s, are now standard on all of them. Additionally, there is a tire pressure monitoring system with a memory function, as well as heated, and power-adjustable side mirrors with a memory function that remembers the driver's preferred position. Driver assistance features including his lane-keeping assist. And adaptive cruise control with traffic jam assist are standard on the Q7 Premium Plus model, adds self-steering when moving in slow traffic. A new black optic package is now available for the end half trim level, which includes darker wheels, and exterior detailing. When equipped with the 335 horsepower V6 engine that's available as an option, the Q7 becomes one of the fastest large family haulers on the market. In our tests, it only took an half seconds to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour. As a luxury family shuttle, even the in-half DSFI entry-level model, which is powered by a turbocharged four-cylinder, is enough. One of the more fun large vehicles to drive quickly around a bend is the Q7, because to its smooth braking, and controlled body roll. Three-row luxury SUVs like the Audi Q7 are a staple in the Audi lineup. Adaptability, serenity, and comfort are all hallmarks of this style. Colorful ambient lighting in the cabin a more advanced wheel tread pressure monitoring system and side mirrors that can be heated, and powerful did all come standard. In spite of its age, the Q7 was last updated in 2017. It is still able to compete with new arrivals such as the Mercedes-Benz GLE, BMW and half, Genesis GV80, and Lincoln Aviator. Just how bad is it in there? How technologically savvy are you? The Audi's two-touchscreen infotainment system may confuse you if you responded not very. It's possible that the complicated system and menu arrangement will lead to usability concerns, despite the abundance of user input. In some ways, the Q7's interior is more appealing. The vantage point from which you're sitting gives you a full view of the road ahead as well as the sides and rear. There is plenty of leg room in the first two rows, however the third row is strictly for children. It may be tough to get into the third row of seats, but both the front and back doors open wide enough to access those seats. Hey guys! The name is Pete and I love cars. I especially love talking about cars so I decided to make a YouTube channel. In this channel, we'll be reviewing cars, talking about the latest car news, and showing you how to make your car last longer, so if you like cars, then stick around. And don't forget to subscribe, right now. What is the current status of technology? With the exception of the dual screen's potential usability issues, the Q7's user interface is vibrant, attractive, and responsive to user inputs. In order to save time, the navigation system has an easy-to-use handwriting recognition capability. It even recognized our chicken scratch. It had a 12-volt outlet, and four USB ports in our Q7 test model. We tested both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and found that the former had some drawbacks. The voice controls aren't nearly as good as Mercedes and Bucks, but they're still a close match. Almost all of the Q7's available advanced driver assistance systems operate admirably. Issues with the amount of storage space you have? A total cargo volume of 69 cubic feet can be achieved by folding all three rows down to as little as 14 cubic feet behind the third row. The class averages are shown here. Optional air suspension raises and lowers the back end, making it easier to load and unload cargo. No matter how far back the second row of seats are placed, you can still fold down the power folding third row seats.
The spacious door pockets are the greatest spot to store stuff in the interior of the vehicle. In the second row, there are three sets of child safety seat anchors, and in the third row, there are two. This is rare for the class. Q7S equipped with the optional pull package can tow 7,700 pounds, enough for most recreational base trailers. This engine's maximum weight rating is 4,400 pounds. What kind of driving style does the Q7 have? As one of the fastest non-performance cars in its class, the Q7's V6-powered engine reached 60 miles per hour in under a half seconds during our testing. Acceleration from a standstill, or on the highway is smooth, rapid, and without incident. However, unless you really press down on the pedal, throttle response is a little sluggish in comfort mode. The Q7's turning radius appears to be a tad excessive. The rest of its dynamic capabilities are impressive, too. With silky smooth brakes, and hardly perceptible shifts, the lack of body roll gives you the confidence to take on corners at a respectable pace. How cozy is the Q7's interior? It's hard to find a car as comfy as the Q7 in its class. In addition to the four-zone temperature management system, there is little road, or wind noise in the first, and second rows. Passengers in the third row will have to rely on the ventilation provided by those in the second row because the third row lacks vents. In terms of power, the seat heating and ventilation systems aren't especially powerful but perform the job well for long rides, the seats are pleasant and supportive, but they only adjust eight ways in the top-of-the-line prestige grade. Just give us an adjustable thigh cushion, please. The Q7's basic suspension ensures a smooth and even ride. Even with the air suspension upgrade, the ride is still a little rougher than we'd like. What's the fuel economy like? The V6 engine in the Q7 achieves a combined fuel economy of 20 miles per gallon, 18 in city, or 23 in highway. Even if our predictions were lower than usual, we were able to put them into action. This car got an average of 21 miles per gallon on our 115 mile route, which included both city and highway driving. Competitors often produce less than an MPG over their forecasts on our test route. Is the Audi Q7 a good investment? There are less priced Teutonic rivals, which cost about the same, but have less features, and do not come standard with a third row, than the Q7, which starts at slightly under $60,000. A comparably equipped BMW and half costs thousands less than our $74,290 prestige model, which was a tad overpriced for what we received. Interior materials, and design in the Q7 are of the highest caliber, as is customary for an Audi, four years and 50,000 miles are the duration of the standard, and powertrain warranties, respectively. For four years, and an unlimited number of miles, roadside assistance is at your disposal. Every single one of them is typical of the marketplace. Doing a family, and having pleasure behind the wheel are not mutually exclusive, as demonstrated by the Audi Q7. Even though this SUV was last redesigned in 2017, it still looks, and performs better than the competition. This shows how high Audi set the standard when it unveiled this vehicle. 22. Audi will offer the Q7 in three trim levels, Premium, Premium Plus, and Prestige, a three-row midsize SUV. All Q7s come equipped with three rows of seats, and all-wheel drive. A 48-volt mild hybrid system is available in both the 2-liter turbo four-cylinder and the 3-liter V6 engines in the Q7s and half, and in half DFSI grades which is 335 horsepower and 369 pounds foot. In all cases, a transmission with an 8-speed manual shift mode is used. If you're searching for something a little more sporty, consider the SQ7's V8 engine, the two-row coupe style Q8, and SQ8, or the high-performance RS Q8. There has been nothing but praise for this model since it debuted in 2017. For those who want the best of both worlds, an opulent cabin, and a smooth ride, the Audi Q7 is the vehicle for you. Only the cumbersome infotainment system, and cramped third row seats are keeping it from universal acclaim.